CCO Kids Worship Online. I'm Miss Stephanie and we are so glad you've joined us today. Who made you? Who loves you more than anyone else? Who is your very best friend in the whole wide world? If you're not completely sure, please listen closely to Miss Hannah's message this morning. It's a great one. And I'll check back in with you in a little bit, okay? Bye for now. Kids, good morning. It has been so awesome to worship with you. I hope you've had a wonderful time dancing and singing and praising God today. As a matter of fact, our verse for this month begins with praising God. Remember, in Psalms 139, verse 14, we sing, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Let's do that again. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Remember, that means that we have no doubt that God has made some amazing things. His works are wonderful. And you know what? Remember, he made you. He made me. He made all of us very unique. We have some very special qualities that make us special. But God made all of us and he loves us. Today in our Bible story, remember we're going to go into God's most precious gift. Better than gold or silver is the word of God. It is truth. And today we're going to open it up and know that God's word tells us where his story began. And it began with him making us. In the sixth day, he made man. And you know, even though Adam was the very first person he created, he already had you on his mind. And you remember, just like Miss Keisha taught us, he knows how many hairs you have on your head. He can count them even higher than a hundred. And he knows how much sand is on the sea. He knows how many animals there are in the world. But the thing that's most important, is you. He loves you with all of his heart. Now remember how we talk about in our stories how God wants us to love him with all of our hearts, all of our minds, and all of our souls. 
He's the only one who knows whether or not we do. And that's what he's praying that we'll do. Wow. He doesn't wait for us to love him before he loves us. He loved us first. He made us and he loves us. That's so, so special. Now, one way that we can know how much God loves us is he gave us a very, very special gift. Do you remember what that gift is? Yep, it's his son, Jesus. He gave his only begotten son. And it tells us in John 3, 16, he gave his only son so much because he loves all the world. And he would die for us eventually. Do you remember when we talk about Jesus, we use our hands like this? Because Jesus took the penalty for our sin. When we choose the things that don't honor God, things like being unkind or disobeying God. And because of those sins, Jesus died on the cross. Remember, he stretched his hands out wide and they put nails in his hands. So those wounds, those boo-boos, they represent Jesus and that he took all of our sin because he loves us so much as God's son. Now, God doesn't just love you. He loves everyone in the whole wide world. That's a lot of people. Not just your mom and dad, not just your brothers and sisters, not just your teacher or your friends at school or at church. He loves everyone in the whole world. So all of the people you see in the grocery store, all of the people you see at Disney, he loves all of them. It doesn't matter the skin color or the hair color or the eye color or their favorite ice cream. Like, I might like cookies and cream, but your favorite might be Rocky Road or Bear Claw or Bubblegum. We all have different things that make us unique. But God loves each one of us so much. Now, you know, I don't know if you actually know how big the world actually is. This is just an example. But look at all of the countries. Look at the huge expanse of ocean. Wow. There's even countries at the very top. There's even countries at the very bottom. God loves every single person in all the world. Now, we're going to keep going around the world until we find the United States of America. That's where we live. Let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. Oh, I think I see it. There it is. The United States of America. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that Florida? I think I see it right here. And if you look close, that's where you live right there in Orlando. God doesn't just know which country you live in, which state you live in, which city you live in. He knows how many hairs you have on your head. He knows if you have 10 fingers and 10 toes. He knows how many taste buds are on your tongue. He knows if you lost a tooth yesterday or sometime this year. He knows if your new tooth grew back. He knows so much about you. But the very most important thing he knows about you is that he loves your heart. He wants that to be the thing that loves him too. Now, I think you remember a couple things, but I want you to make sure you turn on your listening ears to hear. So let's do it together. Ready? Turn on those listening ears. Zip up your lips. And listen to Miss Hannah. God made you. God loves you. God made a special friend to be your friend forever. His name is Jesus. Now unzip those lips and repeat after me. Who made you? God made you. That's right. Who loves you? God loves you. That's right. And who does he want to be your special friend forever? I'll give you a hint. Yep, it's Jesus. Jesus loves you. God's son. He died on the cross so that he could give you a gift called salvation. It means we take all of the sin, all the yucky, naughty things we do, and we give it to God and we ask him to forgive us. And he washes our hearts clean and helps us to love him even more and more each day. 
even as much as he loves us. It's pretty amazing. I'm so glad that I got to share about that with you today. It's a pretty important message. I hope you can share with your mom and dad and your friends today. Tell them, God made you. God loves you so much. And God gave you a special person to be your friend forever. His name is Jesus. And remember, he loves everyone in the whole world. But it doesn't mean that he doesn't have 100% time for you or for anyone else. Anytime that you talk to God in your prayers, he is listening. That's what makes God so amazing. He can listen to us and love us all at once, all at the same time. Wow. Every day I'm so thankful that I know God, that he is my friend, and that he loves me so much. Today, I hope you're pretty happy about that too. And I love you. Don't forget, I hope to see you next week. Okay, so who made you and loves you more than anyone else in the whole wide world? God! And who did he give to be your very best friend ever? Yeah, Jesus, good. We can get to know God more by spending time with him. One of the best ways to do that is by listening to him through his holy book, the Bible. Another great way is by talking with him. Do you remember what that's called? Prayer. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes with me and we'll talk to God together? Dear God, thank you for making us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending Jesus to be our very best friend. Help us to get to know you more by spending time with you, listening to and talking with you. Help us to live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching, kids. Please ask mommy or daddy to help you keep tuning in. You can also find some fun things coming really soon to social media. Hope you check in next time. Bye for now. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14.